God bless you, church family. This is Wilma King, words of encouragement. And I just want to say that I have been missing my audience. I have been missing my times of sharing, times of sharing encouragement. I have been missing that. And I'm, I'm not going to even go into all the reasons that I haven't been before you, but I will say this, God is real. God is alive and he never leaves nor forsake us. And I'm just wanting to give a, a, just a brief, um, I'm calling it a commercial, but whatever, whatever comes out of this, Lord. I just want to say to encourage you that I am planning and I will be on the scene on a regular basis. And the Lord spoke to me about perspective this morning, how we have to have our perspectives in the right place. They have to be focused, first of all, on the Lord. Seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness, and then all things will be added. Seek him early. Seek him early. And as we seek him, we will find him. So what he was letting me see that you're never going to get done all these things you have planned to get done. Just get the perspective right. Put everything in the in the order, in God's order. And that's what he was dealing with me. So if I'm going to put him in his order, then I need to be doing what he's called me to do. He's called us all to do something. And what he's called you to do, that means he ordained it before you were even born. That, that means he's anointed it and appointed it for such a time as this. And I'm telling you, we're in a time right now. We're in a time right now where we need the Lord and we need his direction and his discernment as never before. So I said, Lord, I want to encourage. And what I want to say today, I want to say in Ephesians 6, 10. And let me say this. I was blessed today at church with my new Bible. I'm talking about my brand new Bible. Okay. Giant print. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for my church family. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm just real excited about that, okay? Okay, now that really encouraged me after I got to church. That encouraged me too, okay? And then the word of God encouraged me, Pastor, talking about love, how we got to love. Let me go there for a minute. How we got to love. It's not about how the person look. It's not really about their personality. But we need to love people as Christ loves us. We need, hallelujah, to put on, to put on the attribute, to put on God's love every day because what God, for God so loved the world that he did what he gave his only begotten son we're the sons and daughters of God we need to be showing that same love we're not going to all have the same personalities we're not going to all do the same things the same way we're not going to all be the same color we're not going to all have the same education but God say do what to love one another now that was what the pastor was teaching so I know you're going to hear that on the YouTube uh, Facebook all about that you do that but that touched my heart today and then it helped me to know okay I'm t I'm here in love but also the perspective get back on track what God has called me to do. So that's what I'm standing here to do. And for those who don't like my personality, look over that. Look over that and take what you can take out of this time. Take, there's something that you will hear that might help you. So just take, just take what you can get out of it, okay? You might not like the way my, I'm looking. That's okay, get over it. And just take what you can take from this because I'm not standing here in my own strength, in my own power. This is the power of God. I want you to know that. My husband probably wonder, where is my wife? I'm here at the church still because I'm waiting on the power of the Holy Ghost to have his way. Is that okay? Anyway, what did I say? Ephesians 6. Huh. A final word. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. I got to stop right there at this commercial. Be strong, but it's in the Lord. If we try to do anything in our own strength, it is not going to work. It is not going to accomplish the purpose that God wants it to do. We got to get over. I'm going to go as far as to say this. I got to get over my emotions. I got to get over the way I feel. Do, did I feel like, do I feel like coming to church all the time? Do I feel like doing the things I need to do? No, sometimes I don't. But I'm doing it because uh, number one is, I know that if I go, I'm going to get a blessing. I know, too, that I'm being obedient to God. I know, too, that I'm a servant of the Most High God. But all of this strength we have, it comes from the Lord. 
I want to encourage you today. Don't try to do it on your own. Don't try to do it um, thinking, well, I can get this to work for me. No, it's in the Lord. What is in the Lord? It's in his word. It's in prayer. It's in songs and praises. It's in fellowship. It's in serving one another. That's in the Lord. See, it's in serving. And if you're serving one another, that's being respectful and honoring the authority that's over you. If you have a church home, you need to be committed to that church home and not trying to figure out where can I go because of the pandemic. I don't know why I said that, but that was for somebody to hear. Okay. I'm saying, pray for me. This is what I'm saying. This is a commercial. Pray for me. Let's pray for each other. Let's pray for the strength and the power of the Holy Ghost to be strong in each of our lives. Because I feel that the Lord has something for me to encourage you with week by week. And I think it's going to come out of Ephesians 6. Because we need to be strong. We need to keep our perspective. We need to keep our focus on who? On the Lord. And stop fighting each other. And stop fighting this flesh. But walk in the spirit. The Bible says walk in the spirit so that I do not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So this is where we got to stay. And saints, I need your prayers. And I'm calling on you to pray for me now so I can meet with you weekly. Words of encouragement. God's kingdom come. Hallelujah. And his will be done. Let me pray right now. Father, I thank you for the listening audience. I just wanted to come today. I was blessed today in my church service. I was blessed this morning at the kitchen table. And Lord, I just wanted to come today. Let everything that has breath, number one, praise the Lord. Let us be about our Father's business as never before. You've called us all for such a time as this. We see what's around us. We see the pandemic. We see the country. We see everything. But Lord, you know everything. That's what I love. <laughs> that's what I love about you, Lord. You already know everything that's happening before it even happens. So Lord, keep us with our minds on you. Keep us with our strength in you, strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. So, Lord, I thank you today for every listener. Touch those that are sick, weak in their bodies. Give them a supernatural touch. Those that are fighting the COVID, give them a supernatural touch, supernatural strength as never before. Let the weak say they're strong because they're hot, God, out of my shunder. They're strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, Lord God. Let them be encouraged by what your promises are saying. Let us move out of the natural and keep us, Lord God, in the supernatural. Oh, God, I thank and praise you right now for every listener, for those who are struggling, Lord, financially, Lord God, for those who need income, Lord, bless them, Lord, with every need met according to your riches and glory. Bless them and meet their needs. Those who are having emotional struggles, help them to cast all their cares upon you because you care it. You care it for them. Your kingdom come in our lives. Your will be done. Bless our pastors, our leaders, our country. Lord, bless. Bless, Lord God. Keep our leadership strong. Keep our pastors focused. Keep them with all the gifts of the Holy Ghost working and operating in them. Keep them with their minds stayed upon you as never before, Lord God. Keep them, Lord God, walking in the call of God that you've already called and ordained them to do. You called them for such a time as this. So strengthen them as never before. In the name of Jesus, we pray today. Be blessed, saints of God. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen.